Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel K. You might know me from my Instagram at Mrs. Rachel Krause. Hi, and this is Logan. And today we are still self quarantined. So we are going to take advantage of that and get it all done today. I have no idea what's even on my plate. I have yet to make my list, but I know it's a lot. And I know cleaning the house for one is one of my big chores to do today. So if you guys like these kind of motivating videos, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe down below, leave a comment for me. I love seeing your guys' comments and let's get into it. As you guys can see, I'm getting started with the bed. I like to make my bed every single morning. It really helps get me motivated for the rest of my day and starts it off on a good note. And then every time I come into my bedroom, it's nice and cleaned up. It just makes me feel good. After I make the bed, I'm going to pick up the rocker recliner in the corner of the bedroom. And that's typically where I nurse Logan. So I'll take the pillow off of there and give that kind of stuff. So I just want to go ahead and put that back and then I will clean up the nightstands. P.S. Can anybody spot little Logie Bear? <laughs> He's crawling around the entire time that I'm cleaning up. saw that I had thrown in my first load when I showed you that I was throwing in my bathroom rugs. So now I just need to change things over, kind of pick up the laundry room just a little bit. It's gone on the, gotten a little bit out of control and I will start a new load of laundry and then I'm also going to fold Logie Bear's laundry, which is what I'm pulling out of the dryer right now. As I was putting in this load of laundry, I realized I was completely out of detergent. So that's where I came up with the idea to show you guys my DIY laundry detergent recipe. And I will be showing you that later in the video. But for now, I'm gonna move on to the bathroom and I'm just gonna be shaking out these towels that we had behind the door. We had just groomed Cole and Kennedy, not fully. We still need to do their heads and their paws, but we did what we could on the other day. And actually I say we, but Derek did the entire thing by himself. He's an absolute lifesaver and he's gotten really, really good at grooming them and we've been saving a ton of money doing it. So I'm just doing a little quick cleanup with the vacuum. That's not my vacuum that I'm going to be doing for the entire bathroom, but I just wanted to get the fur out of there and then I'm going to be picking up the trash and putting it in the trash bag, making sure everything is out from the little corner behind the toilet and we will go from there. going to quickly take everything off of the counter so that I can get a good cleanup of the counters and then I'm going to be spraying my mirrors down and then I'm going to let that soak in and disinfect and then I'm also going to spray my toilet in the meantime so that that can also sit with the disinfectant on it and then we will move along to wiping everything down. If you have never seen one of my previous cleaning videos, be sure to check those out on my channel. I have a bunch of them up and they're amazing for motivation, but I always share my tip about wiping down my mirrors and I like to do it with a general purpose 
um, microfiber cloth. I use these e cloths and then I go in with the polishing cloth afterwards. And the spray that I'm using throughout this entire video, I use one cleaning product for my entire house and that is the Force of Nature Cleaner. Moving on to my toilet, this is the thing I hate cleaning probably the most out of my entire house, but it's also one of the things that, that once it's clean, I feel so good about my house. I feel like it's just spick and span, even though the rest of it may not be. But tell me down in the comments below, what is your favorite part of your house to clean? Coming into my shower, this little ledge here is so handy, but it also gets so dirty so quickly. So I'm just taking everything off of here and I'm gonna wipe it down. This is actually really, really satisfying to watch. I'm just using a scrub brush to really get into the grout and everything. And I'm only cleaning this little bit of my shower because we actually had a handyman come later in the day and he ripped out all of the caulking that is right around the tub I almost said grout but it's all the caulking around the tub it was completely moldy so thankfully he ripped it out and put in new caulking and it's amazing Moving on to the floors, I'm now going in and really vacuuming, getting into all those corners and things like that. And then I'm going to be hand mopping with the Force of Nature Cleaner and my general purpose microfiber e-cloth. And I really like to scrub it down, get in all the corners, drag everything out. I have a little crawling baby now, so I have to think if he puts his mouth or his hands on the floor, which you know they do, would I feel okay with him doing that in this room? We try not to let him in the bathroom anyways, but you know, they're sneaky. They know how to get around. They're smarter than we think. Once I get into the groove of cleaning, everything just kind of spirals and I keep going from one thing to the next. This is actually my favorite part of cleaning. I absolutely love vacuuming, but I also love the feeling of things kind of spiraling so that it feels easier to clean. It feels like I want to clean. I have all the motivation in the world to get all the things done, but I'm also on a time crunch because I do have that crawling baby that I need to tend to. He is with dad right now downstairs, but he was getting hungry, so I had to hurry up and vacuum the room and the little hallway outside. Coming into the kitchen, I'm going to make Logie Bear's breakfast and I like to always have things prepped if I can and you will actually see me doing some of that later in the video. I'll show you how to sneak in some prep time where it's super easy to do so. And this morning he was having some pre-cut up fruit along with some oranges to get in some vitamin C to fight off any kind of viruses that are going around right now. 
and as well as a smoothie and a little bit of oatmeal on the side. I swear I'm hitting the floor I could swear that my stomach just sunk a I always like to take the time to sit down with Logan and feed him or at least put the food on his plate. If I put it all on his plate at one time, he just shoves it down his mouth way too fast. So we kind of ration it a little bit and just give it to him slowly. But I love it that either Derek or I are always there to feed him. It's just such a special bonding time and you get to catch these really cute little moments and I've just seen him grow so much over the past eight months. It's insane how fast time is going but it's also so fun. Then I'm coming back into the kitchen and I'm going to clean up from Logan's breakfast a little bit. I left out a few things and we are going to be moving on to my daily morning chores. I always like to empty the dishwasher. I clean his high chair like tray and bib after every single meal and I just like to get things tidied up so that we're on the right track for the entire day. If you guys are interested in seeing a daily cleaning routine or daily morning cleaning routine, let me know in the comments below and I would love to film that for you guys. After unloading the dishwasher and all that, I had to go put Logan down for a nap, but now I am back to make my own breakfast so that I can kind of be in peace a little bit. Otherwise, Logie Bear loves to share with me, which I don't mind, but sometimes mama needs her own oatmeal. So I make oatmeal every single morning. I start with chia seeds and oat milk in my bowl here that I'm mixing up. And then I boil some water for, for my oatmeal and I add in just a little bit of sea salt, vanilla, and then I usually like to put my fruit in there. So I'm using bananas and I'll later be using strawberries and raspberries. You'll see it all come together. And I actually like to boil the fruit with the oatmeal. I feel like it just naturally sweetens the oatmeal and helps it so that I don't have to use as much brown sugar. But I also do like to put brown sugar in my oatmeal, which you will also see. And I just love a bunch of toppings, but my very favorite is at the end when I put the sunflower seed butter and some mini I told you guys that I'd be letting you know how I sneak in some quick fruit prep and this is how I do it. So while my oatmeal is still cooking, I had pulled out some blueberries for myself and I figured, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and cut some up for Logan and put them away in a little Tupperware and that's what I do. 
just whenever I can find a spare minute and if I'm already prepping food or already prepping fruit for myself, I go ahead and cut him up some too. So I just have some blueberries and then I'm also gonna be putting raspberries in with his and some kiwi. I just wanna show you that Prepping can be done at any time. It doesn't have to be a huge production all at one time. I know sometimes I have a really hard time finding like a long two hour block in order to do a bunch of food prepping. And although it's super helpful when I can find the time to do that, it doesn't always happen. So sometimes just getting a little bit done ahead of time always helps. And I can tell you whenever he's hungry and ready to go, and starts to kind of whine and get grumpy. It's so nice that I usually have fruit on hand to just pour out onto a plate. Even if that means I still need to get the rest of his meal ready, at least I have something to give him in the meantime. And then I'm going to start with prepping some bananas. We love to have smoothie bowls, especially myself, and then I usually pour the extras into a cup for Logan. So I am just cutting my bananas into four pieces. I always do it the same number. Uh, so that I know how much goes into one banana when I pull it out of the freezer and then I put those into the freezer on a plate And that way I can pull them out and put them in a bag and they don't tend to stick together So after enjoying my oatmeal, I am just getting started on cleaning up the kitchen again. It never ends you guys It was time to transfer over my breast milk into some freezer bags so that I could freeze it. I typically, after I pump my breast milk, I put them into these little, they're called snappies, and I put them in the fridge to let them come to fridge temperature and just see if we use them in the meantime. And if we don't use them before like two or three days in the fridge, then I like to transfer them to freezer baggies and put them in the freezer. And I always label them with the date and I put a little note at the top that they are allergy friendly, meaning that he can have them. I don't know why I do that, but I've always done it ever since I switched over to eating more like our allergy friendly for him. And then I stick them into the freezer and clean up my mess. Hello. Good morning. Do you have a nice nappy? Hi. Hello. Oh. All right, we were getting a little bit stir crazy inside and I need to keep up with working out even during this quarantine. I've been doing really well with it. So we're gonna go for a little run, aren't we? <laughs> we're gonna head out for a run. Whenever I run with the stroller, I always like to stop either in the middle of my run or towards the end and just get in a little bit of some hit exercises, maybe some lunges, some jumping jacks, just whatever I can think of on the spot. It doesn't have to be exact or specific and I love to make Logan laugh so I was just doing anything to be funny. The things we will do to make them smile, you guys. And then I usually use my stroller as like my bench but you can easily use a park bench or like a big tree, whatever you wanna do. Make it up as you go and have fun with it. I love to keep my workouts a little bit different and a little bit fun. My poor guy is not loving this run, huh? I'm sorry, love. I'm sorry, but you're so cute. Okay, time to head home. <sighs> home and we need to switch over some laundry you guys I love the satisfaction I get when I see a completely clear laundry basket is anyone else with me on this I know I'm not alone in this but it does not stay that way for long
Good daddy. Hi. <laughs> So here I am cleaning his bib and his tray again. He had another meal in between the time that you saw. And you guys, I literally clean this thing three times a day, if not more, if we have more snacks in there. So I like to keep it clean and nice and I really take my time on it. But it's nice that it is so easy to clean. The only thing that's not easy to clean are these little grooves that you can see on the underneath side of this tray. Whenever Logan reaches over with anything on his hands and grabs the underneath of the tray, it puts a lot of food underneath there. So I'm always having to dig it out just to make sure we're not getting any grossness under there. But I do love the high chair. So if you guys are interested in a high chair, we have the stock of trip trap and I do love it. It is finally DIY laundry detergent time and I will leave this recipe that I made up in the description box below but I am using four cups of borax, four cups of washing soda, um, four cups which is one pound of the shredded goat milk from Ben's Soap Company and one and one thirds cup of baking soda. As you can tell I'm really just like kind of so so measuring it out but you really want to mix it up very well and then I put a cute little like gold measuring spoon that I have with it and you want to put a tablespoon with it or something that you can remember to use a tablespoon at a time that's how much I put into a load and if I need extra washing power in that load I will just add some white vinegar If I'm gonna be putting out a super pretty bowl of my DIY laundry detergent, then you know I'm going to be cleaning up my washer and dryer. These get so overlooked in my house because I can just close the door, but they honestly get so dirty with all the lint in there and all the cleaning that I do. So I'm just gonna clean these up really quickly and then put out my little bowl. And I think I'm gonna replace this basket soon with something more aesthetic, but we'll get around to it in the meantime. I am using up the rest of my spray and wash, but the rest of the stuff in here are all clean ingredients, which I love and I love that my new space is so pretty. By the way, I have used this laundry detergent and I absolutely love it. Aside from cleaning up from dinner tonight, I've about hit my max for cleaning today. That's about all I can handle during this like quarantine and being stuck inside. But my entire top floor is clean, you guys saw that. And right now I'm about to start dinner. It's 4.40, we're getting a little bit of a late start, but it's a quick and easy dinner. We're gonna make a vegan mac and cheese and I'll show you guys how I do it. So I'm going to be starting with some organic unsalted raw cashews and just blending those up. And after this, you pretty much just keep pushing it down into the blender or your food processor and add a little bit of oil if you absolutely need to. Um, if not, and you can do without, then that's great. It'll kind of form a butter or like a paste. And then I add in some seasonings. I did some salt, pepper, garlic powder, and some taco seasoning, as well as adding in some nutritional yeast and some salsa. And then you add in some hot water at the end. And it is the most amazing vegan cheese that I have ever tasted. I have never had a recipe quite like this and I will be leaving it in the comments below or the description box, I should say, and it's absolutely incredible. And in the meantime, I just cooked up this really quick brown rice and quinoa macaroni noodles that we got at Trader Joe's. These were actually really, really good and you can't even tell a difference between them and regular pasta. I only cooked them for one minute on the stove before I rinsed them under cold water and drain them of course and then I poured in my sauce into the pot just so I could get the noodles and the sauce kind of acquainted together and that was it that was all that this was and it was super easy every single person in the family loved it including Logan and I forgot to add I did add a little bit of oat milk and some butter just because I felt like it needed some creaminess we use a vegan butter and it's amazing you can find them pretty much anywhere nowadays but that was all I did and I just felt like it needed a little more liquid. You could have added water, you could have skipped the butter. This is a super easy adaptable recipe and we even had it over burgers the next day. I don't know, but it worked. Mm -hmm. 
There you have it. It's five o'clock. I told you I started at 4.40, 20 minute dinner, done. Got some Mexican mac and cheese, yum. So I'm gonna plate this up and we're gonna have dinner and that'll be it for today. Alrighty, you guys, I just got ready for bed. I am ready to go with all my skincare on. Looks like I did not get all the mascara off underneath my eyes, but my house is as clean as, I have my retainer in. My house is as clean as it's gonna get today and that is totally fine with me. So, Loki Bear is down for the night. We have cleaned up our kitchen and I am going to sign off here. If you guys like these kinds of motivating videos, please hit that thumbs up button below and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.